mechanism so that we can uh, learn how to do this totally so you'll know it for the test because a lot of teachers like to to ask you to draw out the stepwise mechanism. So <coughs> we'll go ahead and draw out our NBS uh, so you can kind of know. I've already butchered it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I cannot draw these things. Alright, you're going to have to bear with my terrible drawings. Alright. Okay, so in this reaction, um, actually, we'll, we'll start. You'll always be reacting this on an oil like position, obviously, as the name um, states. So we'll just, this is what we'll end up <coughs> brominating. Um, so basically, allylic radicals are the most stable, um, even more so than three prime carbons. So um, in this reaction, we're going to see we're going to see how um, it occurs. So okay, so basically, we're going to have our three steps: the initiation, and then the propagation, and then the elimination. But we'll get to those. So in this reaction, uh, just like uh, many of the other ones we've been doing lately, uh, you'll get um, oh my goodness, uh, you'll get some light causing a homolytic cleavage, which will create two radicals. Okay, whoa, I forgot they are. Okay, so you get those radicals. All right. So now, basically, we're going to move on. This is the initiating step for... Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. This reagent is um, otherwise known as NBS. Which stands for n bromo uh, succinamide. So that's why they call it NBS, because nobody wants to say that. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move on to the propagation step. And we'll just move on over here. So, not propagation. How about propagation? Alright, and <coughs> in this step we're going to go ahead and get homolytic cleavage. I wrote the wrong molecule over here. We're not going to do this one. Sorry. Oops. We're not going to do this one. I lied. We're going to do this one. Similar. Holy cow. I'm really off on my hexagons today. Okay, so that's what got me. Is that hydrogen tricked me? Okay, so anyway. So this bromine is going to strip this um, allylic hydrogen. And uh, we call that abstraction. So, this will create a free radical and HBr. Sorry about that. I like to render videos as I'm creating them as well. Alright, anyway. So, um... So in this next step, we're going to have this radical reacting with Br2. And this Br2 actually comes from the very first step when you have the NBS. It's, it's creating these bromine radicals and uh, sometimes they'll come together and <coughs> create a Br2 because it's a diatomic molecule. It likes to be in um, a pair. So. Um, on this one, you're also going to get abstraction of a bromine, and this free radical will join. So, creating another one. So, oddly enough, this is pretty much like the other reactions that we've had, where you get, uh, where the end product actually stimulates the propagation of the rest of the reaction. And you'll have the same for this, you'll have the same types of termination steps. Thanks, guys.